guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Misa, and I am a complexion fanatic. I love everything to do with bronzer, foundation, wash, concealer, the list goes on and on. So if any of that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe. Today, we are talking about my top bronzers, bronzers that are creamy, they're easy to apply, they blend out really well, they have a range of shades, and that I think they're really going to help and benefit you this summer. If any of that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and keep on watching. I really wanted to film this outside today in the sun. It is so windy out there. It is insane. So instead, we're here in my basement. The first product is, let's just start with affordable, right? This is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. Now there's three different shades. There's a light shade, which is light brown. There's Sun Kiss, which is medium cool brown, which is the shade I have. And then there's a darker shade, which is Sun Tan, and it's medium warm brown. I thought it was kind of funny because on the Ulta website, this says hashtag Jeffree Star approved. So I mean, I guess I really don't have to say much more after that, but I'll put in a little bit of my two cents. So this is a matte formula, which is amazing. You can use it like as a contour shade or bronzer. In cool brown, it has this cool undertone, which is such a great contour, but you can also warm it up with a really nice blush. If you're someone who just has had a lot of experience with drugstore bronzers pulling really orange on you, this might be one that you should definitely think about, something you should definitely consider picking up, especially with the price tag of only $9.99. It's available on Amazon, it's available on Ulta, and what I really like about this is it's also buildable. You can go back, keep adding more and more product to build it to the depth that you really like. From my experience with drugstore bronzers, there tends to be a lot of fallout, but not with this. So this one has very minimal fallout. I find that bronzers, for me specifically, just apply better with a goat hair brush. This next bronzer is also a drugstore bronzer. It's the Maybelline City Bronzer. Also available in three shades. Really simple, light, medium, or dark. I have the medium here. This is another matte bronzer, which means, yes, you can use it as a contour shade if, as you like. You can also find this on Amazon for a little bit cheaper. It's about $8, or you can get it at Ulta for about $9.99, $10. I never knew this, but this has whipped cocoa butter in it. Does it smell like cocoa butter? Not really. I have always been such a huge skeptic of drugstore bronzers. I purchased both of these together. This one, I will say, it does take more work. It does have a lot more fallout. It blends really beautifully, but it just needs a little bit more product. I definitely think out of all the drugstore bronzers out there, this is one to consider, especially if you just need to run to the store, grab a bronzer for you this summer, and you're ready to go. I like that this is really natural looking. It does not pull orange at all. We will come back to a to another more affordable option, but I know a lot of you don't watch all these videos through, and I do not want you to miss these next two bronzers, which are 100% my ultimate favorite, my tried and true, something that someone would have to pry out of my hands to not have in my collection. And those are, first and foremost, a newer product to my collection, and that is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. This is the shade Radiant Bronze Light. Yes, it has a steep price tag. For the full size, you're looking at $52, yes, $52, but the pan size is humongous. They do have a smaller size for about half the price, $25, if you just wanna try it out. With this bronzer, there are four different shades. I have the darkest shade here, and I have a medium skin tone, neutral undertone. This doesn't pull orange at all. It gives you the most beautiful, radiant glow from within. If you haven't tried an ambient lighting powder from Hourglass, you do not know what you're missing out. It literally is the lightest weight kind of product, and it just gives you this most natural, dewy sheen, which, you know, is actually really hard to do with a powder. Yes, their products are more pricey, but I'm telling you, I have never come across any kind of product like this. So if you're looking to splurge, if you just need one bronzer, for the next year, you should definitely consider this one. It gives you depth and dimension. It gives you this beautiful glow from within as well as it kind of has almost a highlight in it as well. When I use this, sometimes, a lot of the times, I don't even use a highlight. If you're going on a beach vacation this year and you just kind of want to swipe some on or maybe you're going on a date and you just want to have that inner glow, this is definitely going to be a wonderful option for you. It applies really sheer, really soft, the packaging, 
you could just, I mean, I could just look at it all day long. Next bronzer is one that, you know, it kind of, it was the first bronzer that I actually have been wowed by on the high end spectrum. And this is the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer. And I'm in the shade Island Ting. I've actually hit pan. I bought it back up because it's that great. I love Fenty Beauty because they're so inclusive to all the different skin tones. There are eight different shades. If you're really fair and you really need something that's not too dark, they, she has a fair shade. If you're really dark and have beautiful dark skin, she has a dark shade. So this is really, I love how Aran is so inclusive. With some matte bronzers, it kind of leaves you looking a little flat and you have to apply your highlight and your blush. While I do love applying all those things, this is nice because it has a softer matte finish. So if you only want to apply a little bit of highlight, it works there. And it is really smooth, really creamy, and easy to blend. There is absolutely no kickback when you take your brush and use this. It just blends so smoothly. I'm wearing it today. I feel like it also has been a great nose contour shade for me. It does claim to be really long wearing and as well as transfer resistant, which I 100% agree. You can get away with wearing this all day long. And the price point is, I feel like, really reasonable for a higher end bronzer, which is $30. I know she also just came out with some newer cream bronzers, which I haven't tried. If you tried them, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Now let's get back to more reasonably priced bronzers. Butter bronzer by Physicians Formula. If you haven't heard about it, I mean, you've heard about it, right? I feel like ever this has been one of those bronzers that's iconic. Um, it's a little bit pricier for a drugstore bronzer for sure. It's $15.99 if you get it at Ulta or any kind of more expensive drugstore Target. But on Amazon, it's only $11, so consider that. They really have expanded the shade range. When this first came out, there were only three different shades, and now there are six different shades. My shade is the Sunkissed, which I believe is the third one in. I've tried a shade lighter than this, and it was definitely too light for me. I feel like Physicians Formula, they completely changed the game when it came to drugstore bronzers. First of all, the scent. This has a tropical scent, so if you don't like scents, I mean, you might want to stay away from it. I personally don't like scents in my product, but for some reason, this one does not bother me because it's so, it's light, it's not overpowering. I feel like after you apply it, it doesn't stick around for too long, so keep that in mind. And I feel like the pan size is massive. Like, this is going to last you a really, really long time. When I was doing a little research on this bronzer, I came across that this is a powder and cream bronzer mixed together, which makes complete sense that there's some cream bronzer in there because there's very little kickback and you can feel the creaminess. And the formula that they made with this is meant to hydrate your skin. It's supposed to soften, condition, and moisturize your skin all day long while you're wearing it. The last bronzer we are going to talk about today is an iconic one and it is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. Now this was the first high-end bronzer I think I purchased. It's iconic. It's an original. And the reason why is because the tone of this fits so many different skin tones and it's it works as a great contour shade. It's really easy to blend. But guess what? They came out with a lot of other different shades. So they have a lighter shade than this, a darker shade than this. It is up there on the pricier side. It is $30, but it does offer you just like this very natural looking tan. Now, if I had to pick which bronzer, I have it, it's great, but I still gravitate toward, you know, my Fenty bronzer more and my butter bronzer as well as my hourglass. All right, and those are my top bronzers. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I really appreciate you guys taking your time, watching this video, liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next one, okay? Bye.